Well, morning everyone, uh, Monday morning. So uh, just now going through the list of jobs I need to do today. I've got a, as I said in the la video last night, I've got a lorry coming in with uh, a load of uh, insulation, like I said, over a hundred square meters and plasterboard. So that all needs to be coming in to the chateau for the top floor, but more on that later on. I'm actually just gonna finish off the floor in that uh, we dis or I discussed before about uh, relaying it the other way. A lot of people, if I come round, a lot of people were making comments, which, which are uh, a good idea about sending the parquet. I've tried to draw it. So maybe we have a triangle or shape in here um, rather than just slats all the way down. I have looked at that. Uh, it doesn't really seem to work. And one of the reasons also that I threw it out, and I'll show you it. I did a CAD drawing on my computer to look at that because uh, I had thought myself about that. It was a great idea. Is this bit is off centered so making it making the uh, pattern center to the hallway then made it look very odd in this section uh, but i'll i'll show you that that's the next job as i get underway uh, i also wanted to say a big thank you to everyone for the comments they're unbelievable i mean obviously i had to sit and go through them with carol and beth but some very kind comments and trust me um yeah as you all have been seeing it was not an easy decision but we will carry on and, and even if we move to the uk if it does sell we will be doing another renovation oh morning beth <laughs> are you quite happy sat there yeah. wow i realized my book matches this room oh okay well you can stay there then exactly. you come part of the fixtures and fittings yeah exactly <laughs> It's oh. just a fantasy book. Not interested then. I haven't read one before and I'm giving it a go. After you made me sit and watch Little Mermaid last night, I don't trust you on that anything now. That is a great now. film. <laughs> yes, maybe for you it was. We also, oh, oh. a quick note, feel like people might have been distracted by the big news in yesterday's video, but we just wanted to make sure that we tell everybody if we do sell the chateau, that's going to be months down the line. So we're still going to be putting up videos of chateau renovation. And also the house in England that we showed, that wasn't our home. That was another house that we owned that we rented out. So we've never lived there. And that's just a place that's going to be a temporary base until we can find a new house to buy and possibly to renovate. Yeah, definitely. That, uh, as Beth said, that's a base camp, if you like, for the UK. And, and no, since I bought it, I rented it straight away. We're just lucky we kept it. But that will be not our main home if we move back. Yeah. We will be looking, won't we, to do another project. Yeah, but we just thought we'd mention it because obviously yesterday's news was so big that that probably took the spotlight and other things might have just been straight over everybody's head as they were focusing on that. So we thought we'd mention that again. Yeah, and uh, as Beth said, if I, if I happen to sell this tomorrow, it takes a minimum of four months to go through. So I think you might actually even see us here for Christmas, who knows. Uh, but for the moment, we don't even, we don't even want to think about that. Cow and lie, as far as we're concerned, we're going on with our daily routines and we're gonna crack on with the hallway and the other project, which I will fill you in as it happens. Right, so as I said, I do all this up on the CAD. I'm, I'm pretty sure it makes sense, but you can see the hallway uh, that's here that would carry on all the way down. And there's a small section now. This here is obviously what I'm looking to do. Now, the bottom right here is a scale of the size of what I've got outside the front door. They are going to, that's way too big. Now I did look to scale it down. Uh, and as I'll try and show you quickly, if I bring that over, I don't know if that's obvious, but I've dropped a pattern in there, which is completely centered to the main hallway. So when you look down, it's all symmetrical, but it just looks a bit odd. And if you're walking from the, um, the kitchen or the original kitchen is there, it just, <laughs> It doesn't seem to work. It looks like I've tried to make an effort to do something and for me it doesn't work. And Carol and I and Beth, we sort of threw a few ideas on this. I think for the moment it will be a lot easier just to leave that as a straightforward uh, as it is. Again, this I could if I had it later, I still could add that if I really felt I, it needed something. But for me, I think it works just as it is. So back from England, and before I went, I ordered 
this ceiling molding set. So instead of a ceiling vase, um, I bought this set that comes ready molded plaster and you build it up as you wish. It comes with diagrams, even comes with this foam cutout. Um, and this, I thought Adrian had made this and popped it in the box. This is the sort of thing you've made, but it also came with this. Terry, you could have done all that the other day. And all these other pieces, look. So we're just laying it out to check them over. And then we can build it up as we want it, like so. Well, we just play with that. Look, <laughs> I just found, you know what I was saying about takeaways? <laughs> look, I'll take away. <laughs> Don't break it. So we can mill this up. Something like this. To the size that we want it, and that will go in the hallway. Yay. First, we still really need that chandelier though, so that we know how big the centerpiece is. But who knows where that's gonna come from. So this is roughly how the dye design is meant to be. It was actually quite cheap. I bought this on Etsy and it was £35. That is so cheap. Which is so much cheaper than buying a rose. And I think it's too fussy. So actually, I will probably not use these pieces here and make it simpler. And just lay it, just lay it out a little bit differently. These I'll probably leave in because if you looked on the chandeliers, they're actually some that are shaped like that. So I'm really pleased with that. We've cut out um, around the plaster pieces, like put it up on the ceiling to see where to put them. And I didn't quite realize they were so big. <laughs> so as you can see, it overhangs the centerpiece, so I'm thinking maybe we should put that here. It looks really pretty against the blue. I like that, I think that looks a lot nicer. And do a pattern around the centerpiece. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. Hold on, it's very delicate, it's a bit wobbly up here. So, like that. Yeah, I think that would look nicer. I came off. And then I don't need to have to worry about what fitting's going there. I can get on and do this and the pattern around. So we'll reposition those, cut the others and get those positioned and see what they look like. But look how beautiful that is against the blue. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, it is. So it's all in position, ish. <laughs> ish, best as it can be. Um, it looks a bit odd at the moment because it's brown, but if you can see when it's white, Bethany, you can see from down there. Yeah, it looks really nice, I like it. And then we'll be keeping this bit plain after all, yeah. which was defeating the entire object. I think once but... you've got a bigger, bigger chandelier though, then I think it'll look a lot better. So someone's got to be brave enough now to glue them all up. I'm not doing it. Not me. <laughs> not me. But first we're gonna. Dad? No. Not, not me. <laughs> but first we're gonna clean all the backs up because they're a bit rough around the edges and give them a coat of ah, white emulsion. Ah, they're gonna have to be satin wood because they need to be glowing not matte just realized that that's okay we've got some of that are they staying white yes we'll stay white and then we might try some gold detailing in there somewhere so a bit more gold leaf Ooh.
you know where Beth is? I gave her a task. No way. <laughs> She's um, attempting some painting. You trust it with painting? It's a first coat. What can go wrong? I don't know. I've got to go and have a look. Where is she? In the kitchen. Your uh, original kitchen. My workshop is what you should be saying, is it? Okay. Well, this will be interesting because uh, I've never seen my daughter paint. Well, apart from paint by numbers. Did mum put numbers on your... Oh, on the door to follow. <laughs> Can you believe that she trusts me? No, not at all. <laughs> but that's a small brush. Oh, it's a small trim. It is. But you'll notice I'm not allowed to do anything in the main hallway. This is in the dark corner, so you won't even see it. It's probably Brilliant. the only reason I was trusted. Oh, okay. So you're are you painting the cream? Yeah. Which I actually do. I couldn't see it on camera when I was editing, but now I'm here. I actually can see it. There's I can't see bits, it with glasses. There's bits down there that do actually look really obvious that you can see it on. So it probably doesn't show up in camera because I couldn't see it before. But right. I'm here, I can see it. In my defence, can I ask, do you think it changes and it becomes more obvious in different lights? Yeah. Thank you. Darker patches Yeah. in the hallway where there's not enough sunlight, mm -hmm. it's a lot more obvious than when there's a lot of sunlight, because I guess it probably reflects the same. Good, so I don't need to go to Specsavers. Thank God no. for that. Okay, in that case, well, both of you are painting. Hmm. I'm gonna be in here shortly. Leave us in peace. Yeah, well, I'm coming back in because I've uh, now um, put the xylophone on the uh, boards to bring in here and put down on the pocket. Oh, so you're gonna work in right next to me. That's Ah, uh, good point. I'm gonna go and strim the, uh, the nettles and the bamboo outside the front door. Okay. Scores on the doors, darling. How did she do? <laughs> She's oh. standing right behind you. Yeah, so be nice then. Well, she said she didn't plot them too thick. Hold on. I'm just looking for drips. <laughs> you won't find any. God, look at this, eh? This is why uh, I, uh, I can't believe she trusted me. She actually said she enjoys doing this. It's only you that doesn't like painting. I hate think. painting. And yeah. she said how therapeutic it was. Hate floors. Let's give up now. Hate sanding. <laughs> <laughs> I like you good though, darling. Good job done, Bethany. First coat, well done. So is that as good as her gilding, her foiling she did in the salons, remember? She had a go at that. It's better than her gilding, so she can do some more. <laughs> yeah, that didn't go very well, that. Well, slightly frustrating week and the materials that were supposed to be coming in yesterday so I could get onto uh, the top floor uh, where I'm going to put uh, the plasterboard and insulation in, didn't turn up. I'm not actually quite sure why it didn't turn up. They just said they missed the delivery or something. So we're just waiting for a revise. Sort of glad. I don't know if you can, well, I'll see if I can turn around, but uh, no, it's not that obvious. Um, it was absolutely heaving down yesterday. So actually, I'm quite pleased it didn't turn up. And in fact, this week uh, is not looking good at all weather-wise. Probably the same in the UK. So we're just waiting for a revision on that. Touch wood, I have the guy coming next week to give us more advice on the heat power uh, source pumps. It's new to me. I've never actually got involved with heat source, air source pumps, etc. So I'm going to take some good advice on that before we get that uh, installed. Um, but I'll update you as soon as. This is the pattern we put up the other day. I know they're grey, they're cardboard, they look like pineapples. <laughs> they do from down here, yes. Um, I don't think I like the pattern. You don't think? Don't I know you don't like the pattern by the tone of your voice. <laughs> okay, I don't like the pattern. <laughs> I either play with it, not bother. My other concern was, when I was up here, just sticking these up with, I know I've used blue tack, but it was pulling the paint off the ceiling. My worry is when I stick them up there with yeah. proper ceiling rose glue, it's gonna pull the paint down, they're gonna fall. Okay. That is my concern. And I'm a bit scared about that. One way to find out. But you don't like, you don't like the layout anyhow. I don't like the layout. <clears throat> I don't like 
yeah, I just don't like it. Okay. Got to well, play with it. And afterward, Bethany and I spent a couple of hours giving them two coats of white satin wood. Sometimes walk away. You've done that so many times in the past, and then it's come to you. I so you like my tassel, come back though. to it. <laughs> Little yes, things, please, little minds. <laughs> really, darling, you are just a simple girl. <laughs> so we brought um, Alf and Val uh, into Fougere, the church in Fougere is, is gorgeous. I thought we'd show you these stained glass windows. Um, absolutely gorgeous. It's not even really a particularly bright day today. I'm hoping it's coming through on camera, but as you can see, it's so impressive. I went in earlier and uh, they actually have a report in there, the efficiency, the diagnostic test, so it says how good the uh, um, withholding the heating, etc. in this place. And the rating goes from A to G, G and B the worst, it's not good. This one here, this church is B. Incredible, I've not even seen houses as efficient as this church. So. Taking Mum and Alf home, we're sat on Brittany Ferries now and they have chosen the smelliest food ever as a picnic. Egg sandwiches. I feel so sorry for the people on board. Not only that, Adrian. With my camembert. Has chosen camembert with a stick he had left. My coffee. <laughs> oh dear, I feel so sorry for everyone on board. I've stuck to my packet of cheddars. <laughs> but it's a sad day. <laughs>